I didn't tell you why I hate swimming. I didn't get to it, though. So yeah, I'm in the swimming. Get there you're I'm in the swimming. Meets. I'm in the meet. I'm losing. I see it's the relay. I see that I've lost the relay, <laughs> yeah. that I'm so far behind, and everyone's finishing first, second, third, fourth. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, well, it's over. I've lost. <laughs> so I decide to quit the race. And just went over to the side with little floaty <laughs> stripes or whatever you call those. You know what I mean? And I just hung on, like, and I started pulling myself towards the edge. I was like, well, the race is over. No need to keep this straight up. <laughs> Counselors jump in the pool, pull me off of the floaty stripe. What is that what? called? The boundary. Yeah. And then, <laughs> floaty uh, stripe. And then start chanting around me. Swim for Jesus. Swim no, for this Jesus. didn't happen. This and this didn't is from happen. the parents, this didn't happen. The children. It's a huge camp, hundreds and hundreds of people. <laughs> My cabin on the side. Swim for <laughs> Jesus. Swim and me going, <gasps> you know that thing you start breathing up water and panicking and flailing what? about doing four different strokes at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Swim for Jesus. You did. That sounds so fucking fake and yet also clearly is true. So I get to the end, cut to uh, like the day later. I'm like, God, I, I fucking, I didn't, no one knew that my dad was Jewish at camp. See, and but- I was starting to feel guilty. I'm like, I lost the race and I started to actually feel like the reason I suck at sports or swimming in particular is because my dad's Jewish. Uh, and I and I confessed so- to, Katie to my <laughs> Katie laughs. She's Jewish, and she knows she knows that they're not the favorites of the gym team. Gym team is what I call it. Also points out that I'm not one of the favorites, so it's okay. <laughs> gym team, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I so I, so I confessed <laughs> to my friend Ray, and I'm like, I'm Jewish, man, and my dad's Jewish. Please don't tell anyone. You yes. Know? So later we had this thing called devotional before we went. To I know bed. what devotional is. Yeah. So everyone. Yeah. prayed before they went to bed and he yeah. prayed out loud when it came to Ray he was like dear God don't make Matthew go to hell because his dad is Jewish this sounds like a joke it's all in the dark too all the lights are off and then the, and there's silence and then the counselor goes uh, Ray that's not true Matthew your your father isn't Jewish is he oh <laughs> like, my yeah, yeah, he he's Jewish. With the lights off, yeah, yeah. The this voice is all, of young Matt Besser all, pipes up. Yeah, he's yeah, Jewish. He is. Oh my God! Your and he voice, goes, you're... okay. Let's let's pray for Matthew's dad and Matthew to not go to hell. That he did not. Yeah. For serious. Yeah, and at the end of camp, Ooh. we had this thing where they showed us Armageddon films. Okay, and... but we got don't jump to Armageddon. I want to I want to stay on this camp forever you you have to understand that i couldn't be more interested in this camp but okay. don't jump to armageddon i want to stay in the dark room <laughs> right this young he's a volunteer this counselor all the counselors the, this is a very if you're from the south this area of the south you know about this camp because like everyone at that point from the southwest conference like if you were an athlete you would go to this <laughs> camp if you're a big christian in the summer because it was because they got everything you need. They, got, they got swimming and swimming for jesus <laughs> they're, they're blending athletics and the and the lord so it'd be the best athletes from wherever texas or texas a&m oh, or arkansas no. missouri <laughs> this makes and, your swim uh, story so much sweeter because the other kids are just kicking ass oh yeah swimming great and you're grabbing Here's the floaty Here's another weird strike. aspect of the of the we never no one in the boys camp no one wore shirts all day long. Yeah, There's, is that a, is that an unusual usual thing, buddy? I went to a uh, shirtless Christian all day college, long. like a like I I stayed in the system okay. through my higher education, right? And the homoeroticism of the uh, men's dorm it was you know w- I'd go toe to toe with any ancient Greek bathhouse. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice. it, it would have been better if we were just fucking each other because it was so pent up and weird. Guys putting dicks on your shoulder while you're typing an email. <laughs> Con- constant nudity. I, I mean, like, how many times is it funny to go, what time is it, and it's, it's your dick on your wrist? Why don't you just go, will you please suck my watch? And you want to know why I don't like being hugged? Come on, man. <laughs> You had dicks all over your shoulder. I was humorless about that. See, that's that's the side of me that doesn't like commune. I hated living in a dorm because I hated those knuckleheads. But if uh-huh. it was all my friends, I w- I'd love to eat an orange and roll down a hill with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted it to be inclusive. We don't know each other that well. We're not orange hill level yet. But this is what is fascinating to me is yeah. we have a young man in the room 
who is the Christian leader of this room. Sure. And I, I, I know a lot of lovely, uh, informed, smart Christian people who would be disgusted by your story. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm not, not a, a Christian per se anymore. I consider myself culturally Christian. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, the way that people are culturally Jewish. Uh, I look at that and it really bothers me because that person in that moment and your child should have turned on the lights and been like, fuck this. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. No, Nowhere in the Bible would it say that you go to hell because your father's Jewish, even if we're going fundamentalist. Well, that's even if we're definitely going a perception with a lot of people that you're going to go to hell. You inherit hell. So fucking Because you're not saved. You're going to go to hell. Yeah. Well, no, we're just talking about your blood right now. He said you were Jewish, so you're going to hell. Jewish well, meaning in your blood. Well, I think to be blood. fair to him, he meant you're not saved because your dad's Jewish. It doesn't make any sense. Saved, but, saved is just something that you uh, pray and you have a special prayer and then you're saved. So what's it matter what your father is? It, it probably, if if he was here, I'm going to argue for him. Yeah, please. He, he would go, I, I, w- I was just assuming that Matthew was not saved and his father was not saved. Oh, I thought because you went to this camp. That it was assumed you were a Christian. Everyone's asking you to Everyone's swim for Everyone's Christian, Jesus. but not everyone's saved. You had, I mean, that was a big thing at the camp. Tell me what that means. Well, and well, it gets to that last day of camp too. Before our parents are going to pick us up, you know, we had all our trunks, and they were like, "Your, okay. Jew- your Jewish parents." <laughs> <laughs> Go on, <laughs> but they showed us these end of the world films, and they're like doc. They're made like documentaries. And right. You're a kid, and you're like, "This is a documentary on how the world's going to end." You don't right. see it as this is yes. propaganda and yes. these people's opinions. We saw things like that too, of people going in elevators down to hell and and, and, and burning, and people yeah. floating up into the air, and all this kind of stuff. And they, I forget how long it was, probably half an hour. And at the end of it, they said, "Okay, now before you go home with your parents, if you've never been saved, if you never asked Jesus." into your heart now is the time right we're gonna go around cabin to cabin child to child and give and uh i think first they said how many people in here have been saved and probably a third of the camp stood up and, and so you're then, not standing at that point no and not-, and not everybody in my cabin is either because it was like an, it was almost like being bap or like uh you know uh, in any other religion, it's like it's almost like a ceremony. It wasn't just yeah. like something you went, "Oh yeah, I've been saved." It's like, "Oh no, you went through the process at your church of yeah. standing up and saying, mm. so you're, I am born again." I understand that that to uh, my church was the baptism. Like you, you'd get baptized. I, I got mm-hmm. baptized when I was eighteen, for example, and you literally declared to the congregation, "Like I'm with Jesus," and then they dunked me in water. But like getting saved, which has always been an interesting thing, because I I know people that would get saved again and again and again and mm-hmm. again because that was just a prayer you said and i remember doing it and it never felt like what i wanted it to feel like you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so at every time there was some sort of invocation where they're like would you like to be saved I'm like fuck yes please let yes this time for real this time for real this time and it wasn't even because i was a bad kid i was still being the same kid but i wanted some sort of magic twinkling about it that it, that it never that it never like clicked because you a, felt like you didn't get the magic and you're kind of lying about the other times. Like, I never really felt it, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I think I was constantly... Like, you're the guy who smokes the weed for the first time and he pretends to be high. Yeah, that, exactly. Actually, Oh, yeah, fucking, I got a buzz. Exactly. <laughs> I'm drinking non-alcoholic beer and I'm like, I am so fucked up on this Jesus They're like, O'Doul's. that's apple cider, you asshole. Uh, but I would. It's fucking... What, what strikes me as really kind of unfair... It is unfair. You're a child. And like you said, they're showing you the Armageddon film. And you're at an age where you think the Terminator robot is real. You know what I'm saying? So then they show you this other film. And then adults, fucking grown people, physically larger than you, older than you, come into your cabin and in front of your peers, your other kitty friends, say, who wants to be saved? I'm just like, please, yes, what is it you need from me. It has nothing to do with any spiritual truth. It has to do with peer pressure and fear. Oh, yeah. And that fucking... That is Everyone a, was crying, by the way. Of course you're crying. Everyone was crying. You're gonna go to hell or you're gonna fly up to heaven. Either <laughs> yeah. way, kind of scary. Yeah. Terrifying. What happens to your friends? What ha- Like, the guilt of that burden, it's terrifying. And, and what really struck me, the reason I asked if they were volunteers, is these secrets of the universe, 
Like, I remember, uh, and I think I've said this on the show before, have a drink if you're playing the drinking game. I say that a lot. <laughs> is uh, at my high school, they would protest if my math teacher didn't have her master's. But on Sunday, the secrets of the goddamn universe were being taught to me by some guilty, probably closeted homosexual fuckface who's 22 and read a couple books <laughs> and feels bad and wants to tell me I'm going to hell for jerking off. Fuck you, Mr. Gorman. He's a good guy. But uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's terrifying. I was thinking, I don't even know if this is on the same track, but I was just watching it the other day. I saw that that John 316 guy again. Or It's always a different guy. but I that, What, at a sporting event? Yeah, and I was like, God, they still have this guy? Or a guy like this is still around yeah. thinking... Who is converted by that guy? Who's I, like, yeah. I haven't been a Christian up until seeing rainbow hair guy yes. beside <laughs> it almost I make behind the free throw board. I wanna I'm gonna look he's up that right, bird. he's right. Right. Who's looking up the fucking Nehemiah and the Chick fil A cup? I did. It, the passage didn't stir me in the least. Oh yeah. It was like go and serve that. fresh chicken sandwiches to your concubine. I believe that's what Nehemiah is, 318. <laughs> I don't know. So there's Bible verses. Yep. In is in and out is in and out do that too? In and out does that as well. In and out. So crazy, but I love in and out. In and out no is problem on, with that. In and out is only in favor of in and out in the confines of marriage. I'm talking about sex. In and out. <laughs> ah, we're riffing. We're riffing bits. In so as in the closet. Did you ever stand up and be saved? No. I uh I'd been in that camp for years, but that year, for some reason, they had <coughs> ramped everything up because they'd never done that before. And my parents didn't know. My parents were not yes. aware of my what parents was were going also on. also not that aware of what was going on at my church. My mom yeah. was like, what's your problem? And I told her all the things that were happening. And she was like, I didn't. Oh, yeah. sorry about that. I told them all this on the way, you know, way home from me. And they were like, what? <laughs> they God. Were not happy. Jeez, man, it's like sleepers, and and Kevin Bacon was spiritually raping. We had another. It's this, I'm not sure it's the same year, or the year before. Somebody vandalized someone's trunk. Like some kid broke some other kid's trunk, threw uh-huh. it off a, uh-huh. you know, whatever the porch, and but no one knew who did it. So they got every cabin on the basketball courts. The head of the the head of the whole camp. This guy, uh, I think his name was Joe White. That's said, about right. Said I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Who would like to confess to doing this crime? And no one confessed. He says, "Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start running, and I'm not gonna stop running until someone confesses." This is fucking so fucking insane. So he starts running, and then who knows what really happened? But supposedly there was a jeep going down the highway next to him with a walkie-talkie, and updating him on whether someone had confessed and then they would update us on how joe was doing and then the counselors and this was another thing where everyone's crying so the counselors are in front of the camp going joe's running down the highway and he didn't want us to tell you guys this but he has a heart condition and uh running like this and this kind of heat is not good for joe so you need to you need to fess up in front of the lord's eyes and god's eyes and of course, all these kids were standing up and confessing who didn't do it. I'm Spartacus. Yeah. So kids are like, I did it. And then the counselor go, no, Jimmy, you were with me. <laughs> leather working. You didn't do it. I did it. I just want Joe to stop running. <laughs> His heart. And you know, whoever did it was just laughing. There's one kid with jet black hair smoking yeah. a cigarette. Damien. You, fucking Damien, will you please confess? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe's going to die. We all know it was you. You smell like trunk. <laughs> you smell of trunk. You smell, you see your hands reek of trunk tossing. Uh, that is insane. Uh, I, I heard about people that would do crazy stuff like that. I heard about a guy who with his uh, daughter, uh, she she broke something or stole something or whatever. Broke a vase. Who cares? And he says, instead of punishing you, I, he took off his belt and started hitting his own. Oh, my God. Hitting his own arm. And as he's doing it, how did we fucking pollute what I think can be a lovely message from Jesus into this. He goes, this is what Jesus did. Like, I'm taking the pain for you. Uh, I get it, psycho. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty powerful image. But, like, fuck you also. That's traumatic. You're beating yourself. There's got to be a better way. For instance, if I have a kid, which I hope to, I'm going to tell the kid early on, I hate sushi. 
Yeah. I hate uh, sushi. It makes me sick. I hate it. So then that's how I'll say, I'm going to eat this sushi <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> no, oh, man. Oh, baked crab roll. No, not the hand roll. Oh, bring on the Toro. <laughs> I eat this for you. <laughs> 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 